I made a glue that isn't sticky at all at first. You can even roll it around on this metal plate here. So it's really easy to transfer in place where you want it, but then once you have it there, you just apply a little pressure to it and it becomes sticky, holding in place whatever you want. Watch how cool this is. It'll transform from a non-sticky bead to a sticky adhesive as soon as I apply a little pressure with my finger. They look like soft little beads with no visible shell around them, but then they just become a glue when you push on them. Now technically you could call this a pressure sensitive adhesive. Pressure sensitive adhesives or PSAs are viscoelastic polymers that instantly adhere to solid surfaces using the van der Waals force whenever you apply some pressure. For example, this is a commercially available pressure sensitive adhesive. You can see that it isn't sticky to the touch, but if I push down on it and apply some pressure then things can stick to it. Pressure sensitive adhesives are widely used. They're in pretty much everything that sticks, from post-it notes to stickers to tape and glue dots. But the downside of these adhesives is that they have a high viscosity. It's not like you can flow them where they need to go very easily. For example, this one that I use here starts out as a thick paste that needs to cure for eight hours first. But what if you could have something that flowed like a powder without being sticky at all, and then once it got where you want it and you apply some pressure, it suddenly becomes very sticky. Well, we could get a hint from nature. When aphids eat sap, they excrete a very sticky sugary substance called honeydew. The aphids don't want to get stuck in this stuff, so they need to move it out from where they're eating. So what they do is they actually coat the sticky honeydew drops in a waxy hydrophobic material, and then they just roll it out of the way. And that's exactly what I've done here to make these pressure sensitive adhesive marbles. I took Elmer's glue drops and coated them with hydrophobic nanoparticles of fumed silica. This makes the outside of them hydrophobic so that they're no longer sticky, and the inside of them remains a sticky ball but the inside can't be accessed until you squish the little beads hard enough to break the hydrophobic shell and release the sticky glue inside. With typical pressure sensitive adhesives, you get increased stickiness with increased pressure, kind of like this curve shown here. But with the adhesive I made, you get no stickiness with increased pressure until a critical pressure is reached, then suddenly it becomes sticky. So it's not sticky, then suddenly it becomes sticky, as opposed to gradually getting more sticky with increased pressure like traditional adhesives. This is so cool. I'd love a jar of these for my kids to use so they could just sprinkle onto the paper whatever they want to glue together. Researchers at the Osaka Institute of Technology in Japan and the Max Planck Institute for Polymer Research in Germany have been working on this same problem. And they actually created two millimeter sized liquid particles like I made here that can be poured like a powder and then when the shear force is applied it turns into a sticky glue just like I showed. This type of adhesive could be very useful in confined spaces like, for example, a cracked wall where you need the adhesive to flow down into a thin space. But then once it gets there, it can turn into a sticky adhesive when you apply a force. So can you think of any cool ways that you could use an adhesive like this? And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you learned something, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.